The spring primary is one week away. Control of the state Supreme Court hangs in the balance after Justice Pat Rogensack announced her retirement. And today, Local 5's Paul Stino spoke to all four candidates for Wisconsin Supreme Court. Final campaign stops ahead of next Tuesday's primary. To bring fairness and impartiality to the Wisconsin Supreme Court. I don't ever want to be seen as prejudging any aspect of a case before the case is even before us. Waukesha County Judge Jennifer Doro held an event in Green Bay with local law enforcement officials. When I say law enforcement support and public safety matter to me, it's much more than a political talking point. In the evening, Doro attended a forum in Lawrence with former Supreme Court Justice Daniel Kelly, who is campaigning to once again hold a seat in Wisconsin Supreme Court. I've already served on the Supreme Court, and it was uh, the honor of a lifetime uh, to serve the people of Wisconsin in that capacity. But during that time, I wrote several landmark opinions on constitutional matters, and the body of my work has been cited, quoted, or relied upon. Milwaukee County Judge Janet proto Saywitz and Dane County Judge Everett Mitchell are the liberal candidates on the ballot. It's time for the state of Wisconsin to elect somebody who's fair, impartial, will follow the law, is not an extremist, is not a partisan, and who believes in keeping your community safe. I'm not an underdog. What I am is a competent leader that wants to stay right where I think our courts need to be is in the center so that people can be heard and they can trust the decisions that come from our court. Mitchell said he spent his career helping underrepresented groups and that he offers a different perspective than other candidates. I'm the only candidate that can bring rural and urban together in a way that allows for our, all voices to be heard. Even in a race for the Supreme Court, candidates have relentlessly accused each other of partisanship and bias. I invite anyone who, um, who has any question about how I would uh, function as a Supreme Court justice, go back and look at what I have already done. Because I think that's the best indication of what you will do. Every decision that I've ever made has been rooted in the law, despite you know what any personal thought or value of mine might be. In Brown County, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.